right? We could also use control shift and multiple ways of doing it. Com control shift arrow down, control shift arrow down, right? But it'll only select one column. But if I select the entire row, control shift arrow down will then select all the way through. So multiple ways of selecting the data. Once you are done selecting the data, then to insert a pivot table, you click the insert tab and you click on pivot table. And once you click on pivot table, it will ask you, okay, uh, would you like to put this data in a pivot table and you want to put this in a new sheet and you will say, yep, I want this in a new sheet and you will click OK. Now you see on your right hand side some options, which are your pivot table fields. You can play around with these pivot table fields to put items in different places to generate different data sets. For example, let me grab the country from the list and drag it and drop it in the filters. So notice it appears right at the top uh, where I can apply the filters. I can grab the product and drop it under row and now I can see all the filters, I mean like all the uh, products in rows. And I can grab the amount and drop it in values. And I can now see the sum of all the apple amounts, all the banana amounts, all the uh, beans amounts, and so on and so forth. And this is for all the countries. This is for all the countries this is the sum of all the values. If I want to sort the values, I could do that. If I want to filter by certain countries, I could do that. I have all these different options to play around with. Let's try that. Let's go down under um, the sum of amounts, right? Um, and then let's right click on it. And let's go to sort, and let's say we pick sort largest to smallest. Right now, it is just going by some order, which is not largest to smallest. So when I do that, the entire data list changes. And I could see the most amount lies with banana, then apple, then broccoli, and so on and so forth. Okay. That's for everybody, all the countries together. Now, if I go down under all and I say, OK, I want to see the data only for the United States. So I click United States in the list and I click OK. Now I only see the U.S. data. This is the data only for the U.S. So for you guys, if you want to break data by location, you want to break data by supervisor, whoever is the uh, highest level break down that's what you will put in the filters and whatever you want to see the data by that's rows and whatever data you want to see is by the values so if you want to see the total number of hours for every client then the client goes in rows and the total number of hours will be summed for that client from the data set so similarly, I can now scroll down. I can just go to the country filter and I can check the select multiple items checkbox. And I can now say, OK, I need to see the US and the Canada data because that will be the North American data set. And I can click OK. And here I have the North American data set.